So hey guys, uh, how are you? Hope everything is going well and good. So I'm Paula back with another video. So today in this video, we are going to look on how to utilize your recognition face, right? So as you know, in my video, I always try to share something uh, like how to actually we can utilize our recognition face. Okay. So yeah, in this video, we are going to utilize something interesting, right? So how actually we can go and how we can actually look something P1, right? P1, everyone also try to look against the p1 issue so how actually we can look something interesting using senses right so as a normally as a normally okay what we do we normally go to senses right so we normally search our target like facebook.com right facebook so now we and we can and then we go one by one manually right uh, but uh, in this video we are not going like that we are going to use we are going to utilize some uh, like automation okay so for that you need to install uh sensei cli sensei cli don't uh, like don't feel bored don't, don't like don't feel uh bored okay i i have something interesting for you in this video this is not a normal like uh like uh we use senses like uh, in, in our everyday okay so this is a little different okay so see in our uh, senses we have also python like python package or like we can install it by python okay by pip -t. so i will not go how to install you can normally go install it by pip okay so you can go you can like install so i will send send this uh, url so you also need to use your fid and s F secret, like api secret to configure your senses using your cli so i have already senses installed on my kali linux okay, on my kali machine so now what we are going to do i have created i have created a small towards this script okay so this is not this is by default uh like command we can say for senses okay i'm going to explain you how this uh, command work okay for that see see we are going to define our tool name right senses then we have search right then this is our keyboard see we are going to ask senses for the common name okay this is our target.com so which will be sent to okay as our target we are going to test against facebook.com sorry yeah f sorry 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 guys okay facebook dot com okay then we have index type host then we use this regular expression to look up only ip right see this is uh this is we can say this is just some regular expression okay so this why actually we use we can also use port to like if we if we are looking for the port okay so we are now for this we are all only looking for the ip so that's why we use this okay then our file name so i'm going to save it as a facebook ip okay sorry facebook ip dot dot txt then also i'm going to just save it okay so it will not take a lot time okay it will it will take only 13 15 minutes 50 to 15 sorry 15 to 30 seconds only okay so it will not take a time so just don't worry about it so okay my uh thumbnail is maybe small okay so now i'm going to facebook okay facebook ipc we have all the facebook ips okay that we have collected from census which is pointing to only facebook okay the common name is facebook okay so now see this is a, this is in a json format right so i'm going to use i'm going to use the grip okay grab command so sorry i'm not going to use the grab command sorry i'm going to grab those character right using the shade okay i'm going to remove right in the simple word i'm going to remove those extra characters okay so i use uh, this regular expression okay okay so shade then we have insert okay we insert our command so we are going to remove all those character we are also going to remove the dot right and this is going to g we are going to execute it globally and then we have our targeted ip list 
okay then now we can say git oh, okay sorry get facebook ipc now it looks perfect right so now yeah we can go ahead so now let's try and uh, let's i'm going to see how how many ips like line in there so, see okay we have 100 ips on our in this one okay so see till now we have uh, connected all the uh, like all the ips right uh, like all the ips and we have gave on um, like json so now we have com complete our ips okay if we want to check see we have all the ips so another thing is uh, let's uh, try to validate which host is actually up right so uh, to do this uh, if we go manually one by one this will take a lot of time for us right so we don't have lots of time uh, to do uh, manually for uh, like all those 100 ip okay so for that we have a good tool htdpx that will definitely help you to look up under titan status for etc okay i have already created created one video on it so you can go and you can check it okay so for that i will normally use get facebook ip.txt then our tool is hdpx okay sorry hdpx okay and then i will i want to show you how this hdpx work okay see this is hdpx so we have lots of uh, flag lots of flag so we have a status code we have uh, like a silent okay like port values or something you can go and you can read it uh, by your own right because lots of like i am like i i i don't want to like make this video longer okay i'm going to make it in short so for that uh, for our this test case i'm going to use status code only to manipulate the status code from all those IPs. so now i'm going to save the status code like is the ip is giving us 404 or 200 300 to what okay then what i will do uh, I am going to ask against the title. So what is the title? Right, title we know like uh, every website they have title. Okay, so I am going to extract all the title from our all those IP. Okay, so this will what actually this will do? This will actually help us to validate our target more deep. Right, so we, we, we don't need to go like one by one manually. So see now we got something four zero four. Okay, that means yeah, that is nothing like something is there okay so don't don't skip on the 404 you go and you do directory boot force you you will find out lots of information okay so even you are getting the 404 like you are thinking yes nothing is there no you have to go and you do boot, like you do directory search you use faf you use uh try to use uh, like a poly scanning etc okay so also we got 200200 okay so i don't know like uh, for the for, for we have 100 ip and we got 3 ip which is alive i don't know don't believe on tool also you have now you can now you can move to the manual phase okay you can go one by one or or either you can use uh different tools to validate those things right so till now we have connected all those ip we have validated which ip is live right so now the thing is we are going to scan some interesting port right so recently uh like we know that there is a log force issue right which is uh which is mostly found on the apache solar okay so apache solar has default port so why not we can easily uh do automate right we can we easily go like why we need to go like uh uh senses by manually so we are going to collect all those ip we are going to ask the if is uh if, like is our solar that uh, port is open or not or against our all those ip right so for that what i will do i'm going to utilize nabu nabu tool okay so we have a nabu this is a really a good tool for port scanning i have already created video regarding that you can also go for nmap okay but for me for bug bounty hunting i mostly use nabu rust scan those two mostly okay because yeah nmap uh, take a lot of time so that's why i don't prefer yeah in network map you can just i uh, use nmap right but in wave i don't use so for that um, i'm going to use nabu then il i mean we are going to uh, like the like a different our list okay so we have facebook ip right so let's uh, try to find uh is 
any port 8080 is open against our Windows IP or not. So for that we can use this command nabu Facebook and this p. So you can go uh, if you don't know how to do nabu you can go to nabu github page you can save you can do flex and this is easy installation this is a develop one of go okay you can normally do easy installation by go right so see we have lots of flag over here we can also have red limit okay if uh, like server has red limiting so we can do we can do uh, like use this flag also right and then we have lots of so i'm not going to use those a filter for now okay you can do whenever actually you need right but for now i don't need those flag so now for okay we got there is nothing is zero zero is working on those ip so now let's try to find out against a zero eighty okay uh eighty eighty and let's try okay we got some ips which says port eighty is assigned okay so see now till now we got idea how to do like we, we got idea how to do automate our senseless process right we don't need to go manually so my motive is to show you how to do automate our senseless process why we need to go manually so we can do all those things by manually like sorry so by automate by automate right so see this only take uh, like 10 minutes for me to do all those process so this is easy okay this is easy you can also utilize this uh, this i can say this is tip for you like you can also utilize while you are doing bug bounty hunting right uh for today uh, that's all i will come with some interesting